Thanks for joining me, we're back in the garage again. We've got a one series in. Now this is the 125. It's got that beautiful six cylinder engine in it, but it's got problems with the ABS. We've got this same issue we have with the three series and stuff. You can see the ring there, real high spot there. The ABS ring on the back is giving problems. It's corroded, it's swollen, and I think we're gonna try the spacer. Let's see how we get on. Let's get into it. Engine. Now the reason I'm showing you the engine is there are some uh, comments on the forum saying that the six cylinder doesn't have the ABS rings on the back. And if I come around the back, there you go, 125, and we go down underneath and have a quick peek if I wonder here. You can clearly see up there an ABS ring. Some models use the magnetic sensors within the wheel bearing, but not on this model. Right, let's go for a code first. I've got the top on 600 or uh, Auti Diag, and uh, let's pop the little cover off there for the code reader. We'll get it plugged in. Get the ignition on, two presses on the button. It's doing its little VIN scan. There we go, so it's fine. It's found the car, 2009. Uh, 125. Happy with that. Okay, here comes the faults. So, engine's okay. Uh, ABS, we've got a fault on that, and it's shown as there. 5 DC1 fault and a 5 DCO fault, which is shown as that the the wheel speed sensor rear right has got an issue with it and it's saying that the wheel speed sensor supplied to the front right is also got something going on but it's that rear one that is the one i think that is causing us problems we'll check out the other one and just see if we by fixing the back one will that sort out the front sometimes these things because of the differences it can upset the set the settings on the other sensors because obviously they're reading every wheel doesn't quite know what it's seeing so um, we'll go with that back one because we know that that is a little bit iffy and I'll show you why we know that okay let's get that one sorted so we'll get the low entry Sealy trolley jack links are in the description again for all these parts and tools let's get this wheel off we've got the locking round okay and we've got the mill walking up gone there what a beast this is makes life so much easier won't be without it <laughs> usual stuck wheel Nothing that a good kick won't sort out though. If that hadn't worked, I'd have got the, the copper hide hammer on the back of it and tapped it off, but came away. Drop the handbrake down. Got his great light. Keep us uh, lit up so we can see what we're doing. Let's come under and have a look, see what we've got going on. Like I say, I know on this one there's an issue because I can see the ring there. And if I turn the wheel, you can actually see the high spots on that ring where it's catching the sensor. You can see the difference in the color where it's catching it. Just there, look. That is right where the sensor is catching the ring and throwing it all out. Right, so this is this little sensor. We're gonna just undo the bolt there and pop that out and space it and then put it back in again. squirt of rust off now get that socket in there again and give it a real good wiggle and get it deep into there so that it doesn't strip it out when we uh, try and undo it yeah that's going all the way home that's good and that's a five millimeter socket there got a little extension and then the ratchet and we'll just try and get that out there we go and hopefully we can get this sensor out without causing too many problems they can be tight 
I just want to give it a little bit of a wiggle left to right. It won't rotate all the way around. It's got some little noggins on it that uh, stop it from turning. So we don't want to uh, we don't want to snap it off by getting too aggressive with it. But a little wiggle, little wiggle up and down, and pulling at the same time. And it's starting to free off. It's starting to move. So hopefully it's going to come out. Just get hold of it, grab it. Oh, it's a bit tricky to get out, but. Here it comes. Here it comes. Oh, no. <laughs> Come on. Get a grip. Get a grip. Literally. Yeah. Oh, something's happening. Here it comes. Bingo. There it is. And if we look at the end of it, it's... It's got a bit of wear on it there. It might... It's very, very close to being ruined. I think we might get away with it though. Let's have a look. We'll see. I've got my little washer set here. I've put links in the description for that. And I've got a tiny little washer. If I put it into the, uh, the vernies there, we can just see 0.94 of a millimeter. So just under a millimeter thick. We'll drop the sensor back in. Get his washer in behind the bolt. I like that, see the washer's in there now and we can use that back in again. And you can just see now, the sensor's in. The bolts in and we've got the little spacer between the two just lifting it off slightly I'll nip that up jobs are good one. Anyone want a 17 year old Yorker? <laughs> oh dear. Right, should we get working then? Should we get this finished? Okay. Let's get that little clean up. A quick little brown with the emery cloth. Get rid of that corrosion that's there from the uh, where the aluminium meets the, the steel hub. Bit of the aluminium anti seize grease. And again, clean, clean that alley up, clean that spigot up there. And then whack it back on again. Put the handbrake back on and then drop the jack. Right, let's erase these codes off now then and uh, give it a road test. So ignition on is two presses of the button without your feet on any of the pedals. Ignition back on again. Clear the codes. Fault code. Fault. Put your teeth in. Fault. Fault code's cleared. There we go. Everything's cleared. Let's go for a spin. So yeah, we seem to have fixed that problem. We'll get it back to the garage. We'll just do one more final code reader on it, just to double check we've got nothing creepy going on. And uh, yeah, hopefully that'll be that.
All good. Fantastic. If you're still having problems, I've got this video. I'll put links in the description for it. This is on a 3 Series replacing the ABS rings from the back of them drive shafts, but the job is identical to the 1 Series. There we go. 1 Series is all sorted, running as good as gold. That little sensor at the back now is spaced out with that little shim, and uh, it's lifted it away from the ring. It's not catching anymore. We've cleared the coat. Everything is absolutely fine. It's driving like a beauty. So, um, if you've done the same thing on your car, you've had success, drop me some comments. I'd love to know what's happened to yours and how you've got on. Um, if you've enjoyed the video, drop me a little thumbs up, like, subscribe. I'll see you in the next video.